Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this video I'm going to go over how to use layer masks in Photoshop. I'll show you where to find them, what they are, and some of the potential that they have. It's a really useful tool, so let's get started. Alright, so let's say you have your original photo, and for example, I'm going to duplicate my photo onto a new layer on top, and then I'll go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. So, so you have your original photo and then on top you have your photo with an effect that you want applied onto it. But you don't want this effect to show through on the entire photo. Now you could go ahead and erase parts of this photo that you don't want. But there's a better way to do it. I'm going to undo that. And that's called layer masks. So if you go to layer layer mask you can choose reveal all or hide all but let's start off with the layer mask revealing the entire layer it's the same thing as erasing parts of your layer but with layer masks you can work backward and forward so this is your layer mask to the right or the side of your layer anything that is white on the layer mask will reveal the, the original layer and anything that is black will conceal or hide the layer as if you erased it. So if I take my black paintbrush and I click on the layer mask and I paint black, it's going to act like I'm erasing or hiding that part of that layer. And it's going to show what's underneath, which is my original photo. So you can see where this can get pretty useful. Um, the great thing about this is, unlike the eraser tool, you can go back and I can paint black for areas that I want to hide. And then if I went too far, I can paint white for areas that I want to show or reveal or bring back on this layer. So now you can, now you know how to how to make Photoshop show only certain parts of a layer that you want and you can use that to create isolated effects you can use you can put layer masks on literally every layer but even further than just black or white you can even do shades of gray in between which will bring back or hide the layer at different opacities so a perfect shade of gray will hide this layer 50 percent and so on you can even do gradients so black to white gradient the white area on the layer mask is going to show what's on this layer to it and the black area is going to hide so aside from just using the paint brush tool or, or painting or using a gradient of black and white you can also use uh, images as your um, layer mask. So let's say I hide this layer and while I select my layer mask I click image apply image which just applies the current image onto that layer and I set the blending mode to normal. Now you can see I have a pretty complex layer mask which is a grayscale map of the image so if I double click on the layer mask I can even adjust the density which is pretty much like the opacity of the layer mask or I can invert it so you can get into some pretty complex effects um, if you click back on your original layer you can work on your original layer rather than your layer mask so let's say instead of just having the effect be black and white I also wanted to throw a filter on there, like filter blur, like a motion blur. I can do that as well. Or you can even apply filters on the layer mask, so I can blur my layer mask. So it can get pretty complex, um, but you can use a combination of brushing and filters and applying images to create pretty much any effect or any unique effect that you want 
and this is how you see a lot of those effects that you ask for being made. Another cool thing you can do, I'll delete this layer, but if you notice, if you go to layer, new adjustment layer, all of these adjustment layers have their own layer mask already attached onto them. So if I create a new curves layer and I adjust the contrast of this photo and the curves like I want, I have a tutorial that I just made on this. But let's say I adjust the curves to create a color effect I want. You'll notice the entire curves adjustment layer is a layer mask. So from there I can even isolate some parts of it by a uh, if I paint black it will just show whatever's underneath so painting black conceals painting white reveals the layer again if you double click the layer mask you can lower the density of the entire thing I can invert my layer mask so everything black conceals and white reveals. Pretty simple. Just remember that rhyme. Black conceals, white reveals. So hopefully this tutorial gave you an idea of layer masks and what they can do. But if you ever wanted to isolate or only apply an effect onto a certain part of the layer or only apply an adjustment onto a certain part of a layer, this is how you do it. Layer masks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.